Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and thanks for tuning in to another episode in my Egypt campaign for Gearhawk's Medieval 2 Retrofit Mod Hot Seat Grand Campaign. We are on turn number 12. Let's take a look at what we have to do today. Uh, Descendants of Alexander the Great. Who would this be? Fine, when your diplomat comes, I will accept the peace, but I will always be aware of you and the Turks. Oh, so I guess that's the Byzantine Empire. And then the Sultanate of Rum. I am coming to your help now, so that's probably the Turks. So, with that in mind... Oh, did I not repair that? My bad. So we have to get that going. Can we recruit anything here? No, we cannot. So I should probably get some good troops over here. What was I doing with these guys? I think trying to clear out these rebels. So let's move them back here so that I can put it back up to very high tax rate. My eyes are yours. Keep an eye on what's going on up here. As my sultan wills. Where is this guy headed? Is he supposed to build a watchtower for me? I think he is. So let's put one right here. Of course, sultan. So there we go, I can see all of this territory now. Let's actually put one right here as well. Because that will allow me to see a lot of the ocean, which is good. And actually, in fact, could we put a watchtower at the end here? So that that'll open a lot of the visibility of the sea as well. And then if I move these guys here... Yeah, look at that. I can see pretty much the entire sea, so that is excellent. Very, very good. Okay, let's combine these guys here. So that's two, four, six, seven. Got eight. Uh, nine with that, so we just need one more. So let's get one more Dao. And then we've got some Nubian Spearmen, Kurdish Javelin men here. Kurdish Javelin, melee attack, missile attack. They're 8, 3, and 11. So how do they... How are they compared to my regular Spear Militia? No, the Saracen Militia are way better. Way better. Uh, unfortunately, we can't get any more of them, though. Which is fine, I suppose. So we're building here. We need to build something here. So let's take a look at what we have. The racing track... We'll get Arab Cavalry will give us some bonus due to public order. We could get the market. I think the market would be the best choice because that would help our trade. Not too much, but a bit. Every little bit helps. At Gaza here, we're building the Dow. And, oh wow, that's pretty much all my funds. Uh, so what do I want to do here? Maybe put a watchtower just along the way. Well, actually, I don't even have enough money. Okay. So let's wait for this market. I want to see if there's anything else that I could build that would be more beneficial. Building roads there at Acre. Pretty Islamic, which is good. We're building the garrison quarters there as well. And we're, we can only get peasants here. I'm not really that interested in peasants, to be honest. Alright, so we'll stick with the market, I suppose. At Cairo. Oh, hang on. We have another one over here. Oh, so I don't need to get that other Dao. Wherever I was creating it. There we are. Because we've already got this one. So, let's leave uh, this fleet on this trade route. And we'll bring this guy over for next turn. Oh no, I, I'm still missing one. Oh no, no, I've got one up here though that I can use, so that's fine. And yeah, I kind of want to do something with all these spear militia here. This is a lot of units that are kind of being left for nothing. Can I bring these guys out? I can. So let's actually bring them there. Get them onto the ship. And then let's come over here to Rhodes. See if we can take Rhodes. In fact, I could probably scout their 
Right now, oh, close. Can't can't see exactly what's there. But good. Look at this. We've got a full vision here. So if there is a crusade, we should be able to sink them. Which will be very, very good indeed. It's pretty much where I'm spending most of my money. And we've got a lot of forces over here as well. So what I'm going to do... Uh, do I have a general nearby? I do have this general. So... So let's bring all of the all of the units that are not free. Oh, what am I doing? So, like so. And let's bring them up this way. And then grab these two as well. And then we're going to come up here and take care of these rebel armies, because they're actually affecting our trade quite a bit. Oh, and that's right, I have another Dao over here. That's headed towards the yes, Sultan. Moors. Inshallah, the winds shall return tomorrow. And here's the end of turn report. Wow, we're number four, so we're really falling here. It's not that good. I think it's mainly because we've pretty much capped ourselves as far as our army upkeep goes. Yeah, you can see it's at 8,000. I could maybe cut a few of these off, though. Sultan. Who's better here? 3, 7, and 6. That is not what I meant to do, but okay. 3, 7, and 6. The desert archers are way better than the archer militia. And at Damascus here, we don't have any free units, looks like. Number of free units is supposed to be 3. Bedouin cavalry. Cost to retrain 441 florins, really. Sultan. I think these guys are mercenaries anyway, so let's just go ahead and get rid of them. And somehow that's really affected the public order, so I'll turn it back down to high. That's fine. Your money is always good. Okay, I think that is good. Don't think there's anything else that I need to do. So yes, this ship will hit roads, we'll take roads, uh, establish a little bit of a base here, and then we'll be able to patrol uh, this shore here. It's going to be much more thin, which will work out for us. And uh, actually, we should maybe look to take Libya. I don't know exactly where this... Ta oh, hold on. Is this owned by Sicily? Is that why? Who owns this? Oh yeah, it's owned by Sicily, so we can't actually take it. Fair enough. But we can see his uh, control here, which is pretty good... A uh, pretty good maritime army, uh, maritime empire here. You can see he's actually got both islands. He's got this one here. He's got obviously his main settlement and this one. So he's actually expanded out quite a bit, which fair enough. Uh, this was taken, I believe, by them. So yeah, we're kind of stuck. We can't really expand too much more. So we may have to actually go against the Byzantines, unfortunately for them. So let's bring him down this way. I want to see what's down over here. We'll kind of scout uh, scout this. But I think that is pretty much everything. We don't have anything else that we can do at this point. Uh, we can build our watchtower here now. And then, just as we continue down, just build more watchtowers. Should be relatively happy here at 110%. Very good. So let's go ahead and end the turn. Oh, and my merchant is moving into position as well. And now it is Denmark's turn. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And I will see you in the next one.